I'm back! Whoa! What happened? Welcome back, friends. I have returned, and I'm super happy about it. If you listen to the podcast, you know that I have been gone for the last two weeks, and there is a lot of stuff to catch me up on. We gotta open our YouTube award. We gotta open a gift from a fan. We gotta mail some stuff out for the stud stack. We also had a very unhappy customer. So, you ready? Yeah. A funny thing happened when we started facing our fears. Our dreams came true. Now, we fly into the world's most dangerous storms as hurricane hunters. We own multiple businesses as entrepreneurs, and we have an abundance left over to share with others. We have just one lesson to share. Don't follow your passion. Follow your fears and conquer them with your passion. That's how you achieve big goals. Yeah, so um, Jenny's gone, which means I have to do all the board fulfillments now. So we open up the laptop and print out the order summary page. So that was my first board fulfillment in a very long time. And uh, I did a terrible job of filming it because I was also filming a TikTok. So you should go follow us on TikTok. If you think we have fun on YouTube, wait till you see our TikTok. We've got a huge problem with our business right now. We are almost out of stock of our cutting and charcuterie boards. So I need to restock fast. And I saw this trick online. I don't know if it's gonna work, but it's the fastest way that I know how to restock cutting and charcuterie boards. I've got 67 boards, I think, here, and they all need their bath. We gotta sand them, and then dunk them in the water, and put them up to dry. That way, when we sand them at a higher grit, they're silky smooth for a long, long time, even after people wash these in the sink. And I can't find my big tub to dunk them in, so I guess I gotta go to Home Depot and get another one. Do you mind? I'm trying to record here. Hello, another day, another sweatshirt. Uh, back at it on these boards. They need to be sanded to 220. I need to drill the holes for the feet in the corner, and then I need to brand them um, in reverse order of everything I just said. All right, finally got all of these boards sanded. Well, I think that's the most amount of boards we've ever had on hand at any given time. And they're already sold. I've like, I've got about that many more that Jenny's already sold that I still need to make, but there's no reason to keep them all on hand. And the realtors only need to use three or four a month. 11 minutes later. We got two boards to fulfill. I've got a cutting board that's supposed to go to a realtor, and then I've got the board that we auctioned off for charity. So we got to deliver that one today as well. All right, this is the last board we made in our home garage. This is it. All right, so now we've got that cutting board engraved and it turned out really nice. So, um, cool. I'm glad we didn't screw it up. I don't really have another option. I don't have a backup plan if I screwed that one up. So now I guess while we got the laser set up, I'll engrave the charcuterie board. All right, charcuterie board is locked and loaded, ready to go. All I gotta do is push this button. We forgot to do something very important. We boxed up boards and we did not do a would you rather. 
Oh, no. So, Caleb, would you rather have the ability to be invisible or the power of flight, and why? Let us know down in the comments your answer. I'd like to fly, but I'm a little biased because I just love everything aviation. Uh, yeah. You already fly, though. I'd love to do more of it without an airplane. <laughs> I, yeah, that'd be great. Oh. Just fly around like Superman all day. I would probably want to fly because I think being invisible might become creepy. Well, yeah, like you'd, <laughs> you'd learn a lot of stuff that you didn't want to learn. Like sometimes yeah. it's best not to be in the room at all. Yeah. So there are a lot more downsides to being invisible than the downsides of flight. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. mm -hmm. even if the government was after you, you could just, you just go away. Bye. Yeah. What do you want, Bruce? Do you want to fly or do you want to be invisible? Bruce is not fun. He doesn't want to participate. The next morning. She's back. I'm back. There's a lot that we need to do with you because I've been waiting on a lot of things. Yes. And part of that's my fault because I told him to wait on certain things because I was just so excited and I didn't want to miss it. First, first what we need to do is unbox our YouTube play button for hitting 100,000 subscribers. So let's do that first. That one was already That open. one already tore. <laughs> Who uses these cheap black mailer boxes anyway? <laughs> I wonder where they get the boxes from. <gasps> Here it is! Oh, just kidding, there's foam. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful black foam. <gasps> All right, so what do we have here? I have a very nice letter. Yeah, from YouTube. Do you remember your first subscriber? Your hundredth? Or your thousand? Yes. I do remember when we had like 350 and we were like, oh my gosh, we have 350 people that want to watch us every week. And we thought it was the craziest thing in the whole wide world. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Oh, oh wow. Oh, here it is. Oh. Take a look, guys. Should we take it out of the plastic? No. It's not as heavy as I thought it would be. Do, 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 do. Can I hold it? It is light. Right? It's very nice though. I it like it. It's very nice. Oh, you can see you guys. See? Say hi. Very that's, cool. That's very nice. Presented to Jenny and Davis for passing 100,000 subscribers. YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> this is the back. Nice. I like it. Thanks, guys. Thank you. This is this means a lot. This is all you guys. Thank you for watching and putting up with us and laughing at us and with us. That's it. Nice. 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 We also got a gift from one of you guys. Uh, one of you reached out. It's a Tyvek bag. It's gonna be embarrassing to open. Here's the scissors. scissors. <laughs> um, one of you guys reached out and wanted to send us a nice mallet. Which is super cool. We love getting gifts from you guys. This is awesome. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. That's really cool. That's Look at awesome. all the colors. This is Mario, he wanted to send us this mallet. His business is called Upcycle Katie. So it's recycled, the head is recycled plastic. That's why it's all different colors and stuff. It looks really cool. It's all swirly. It's, and hefty. it's kind of like routed out on the edges, kind of yeah. this chamfer. Anyway, it's all recycled plastic. Super cool. The handle's made of pecan wood. Ooh. Hickory. Oh, number 83. Oh, he's got the number engraved on the bottom. That's cool. Thank you so much, Mario. Yeah, I like that. Definitely check out Upcycle Katie if you want a nice, cool chisel mallet hammer thing. What's the actual name of this? What did you call it? I'm a woodworker. A joiner's mallet. A joiner's mallet. A mallet. Thanks. This means a lot. All right, we have one more thing to unbox. And this one we've been meaning to unbox for kind of a while now. So let's 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 walk and talk. I'll tell you the story. It was mid-November. Peak holiday season, like up to our ears in board fulfillment. And we get an email from a quite unhappy customer. They had bought a cutting board from us and they were very unhappy with it for a lot of reasons. But this was our first unhappy customer. I'm, I know it's weird to be excited about that. But, but like, like we knew it was coming. We've done what, over 200 of these boards? So without any further hesitation, let's open the board box. Jenny, this is Jenny's first time seeing it, okay? Okay, I don't know what I'm gonna see. Okay. All right, this looks familiar, this looks familiar. Okay, whoa! What happened? What did they do? 
too. Okay, so this is, I'm, I get this. This is what I saw in the pictures they sent. I get that. But not the circle. But not that, and why is it blue? It's like dyed. And also like the finish is gone. There's like, oh, yeah. there's like, like no finish on this, feel it. What about the back? Oh, wait, There's wait, wait. a little on the back. Hold it up to the light. Hold it up to the light. Oh, <gasps> it's stripey. Oh my gosh. Oh, <gasps> dude. Know we know what this is. We know what happened. Yeah, we do because we've done this ourselves for science before. Two years ago, we put boards in the dishwasher because we knew that some customers were just going to do it. No matter how much we told them, no matter what we put on the, this board it happened. has gone through a dishwasher. Yeah, you see the streak marks where it like melted off the wax? Finish? That's why there's no finish. That's one of the things he was talking about in the email is that the board didn't have finish he on it. He kept saying it looks like it was not finished or it's not treated, but like in the pictures we could tell because there's a sheen coming off the board. Like, also, just also based off his explanation, it looked just like when we did the experiment with putting a board in the dishwasher. Take a look at that video from two years ago. We're gonna put them all in the dishwasher. We wanna be prepared for it and kind of know what it looks like and what happens to the boards. I just took these out of the dishwasher and this is what they look like. All the wax has been melted off. All the hot water in the dishwasher melted it away and these are not in good shape. Because yeah, once the finish is off, like you're gonna get stains by setting water on it, by setting you know, a bowl on it, by setting whatever on it. He mentioned that there was a big stain on the board from the bowl, but he did not include that picture. No. I wouldn't either. Bottom line, we have a very unhappy customer who paid a lot of money for a cutting board and for whatever laundry list of reasons, they're not happy about it. And I get it, like we charge a premium for our boards. You guys know that, you roast us every week for it. And there's a certain expectation that if you spend a bunch of money on something that it's up to your expectations. But bottom line, the customer is upset and there's a couple different things that we could do to handle this situation. The first thing is we could go pick a fight with the lumber dealer. We could also try to sit there and explain wood color variation to the customer. But the customer does not want a lesson in woodworking. No. Or what we did a couple months ago was we didn't have time to get to the bottom of this, so we just mailed them a new board. Mailing a replacement to the customer is gonna solve 99% of all of our issues with the customer. And it might be our fault, it might be their fault, it, it doesn't matter. Every few dozen customers, we're just gonna have somebody who's upset for one reason or another. We calculate the fact that we might have to mail out a new board into the price of the boards. If you know our formula, that's what the magic multiplier is for. Baked into that pricing formula is a little bit of wiggle room for stuff like this. And if you use our pricing calculator on our website, you're gonna be able to easily figure out how much you should charge for an item by just plugging in your own numbers, and we will spit you out a value of what you should be charging. That price calculator is gonna be a huge part of a new sales program that we're about to release. Yes, so we are working on redesigning all of our programs for you guys. And a big part of it is gonna be this pricing calculator that we created. So get yourself on the email list and keep your eyes peeled for that first brand new program that's gonna be coming out soon. No, you do not need to buy the program to use the pricing calculator. That's just our gift to you. Just go ahead and use it, be familiar with it. But just know that if you buy the program, we're also gonna be using the pricing calculator quite a bit. Anyway, customer service is a really difficult thing to figure out out and get right, but if you can find something that is very easy, that solves 99% of your problems, just make that your policy. We're not gonna lose a ton of money if one out of 100 cutting boards needs to be replaced, but we will lose our whole business if we lose our customer's trust. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the plan, stick to the plan, ask me how